The LG Wing has a new phone that can swing its screen, but is this going to be the next thing on the market? We'll find out in this video. Let's go! Hi and welcome to the mobile app. If this is your first time here on this channel and you like everything about mobile and other tech related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So 2020 is probably the year of foldable smartphones among many other trends coming up on the market. LG, who is never really shy to try out and come out with new features, has now presented the LG Wing. This phone looks a bit like the LG Velvet with the ability to get the dual display by swiveling the main screen, something that you probably haven't seen before. Depending on how you hold the Wing and how you use its main screen, it's possible to do things that are impossible with most other smartphones. When we look at the overall design, the Wing is easily the best looking phone in LG's range. While I don't have much to complain about in terms of the Wing's hardware and design, I'm not a huge fan of the volume and power buttons. They're placed too high up on the side of the device, making them difficult to reach at the best of times, especially when the Wing is fully opened out. Swiping the Wing open feels natural and is easy to do with one hand. Even closing it back up again isn't too hard, but it's easier if you bring in a second hand. So my first impression about the LG Wing is really, whoa, very, very cool. When the Wing is fully opened, it allows you to use one app on the 6.8 inch main display and one on the secondary 3.9 inch display. This could mean an Instagram feed down below and a fully sized video up top. Or rotate 90 degrees and you could have a small video playing on the second screen while you scroll through Twitter on the main panel. Or if you want to go completely wild, hold the phone upside down and use the full-size keyboard to type into a document on the secondary panel. There are a lot of cool possibilities here, like having a Google Meet call going on the secondary panel while you play a game on the main screen. LG has even worked with app partners like Gameloft to bring extra functionality to Asphalt 9 when played on the wing, like a map on the secondary display view while you are racing. You can also use the LG Wing while driving to have your Google Maps on the main display and control your Spotify songs on the other one, a concept that I really like a lot as you can have various possibilities here. Of course be aware that some apps might not be able to load on the secondary display, something that LG is probably working on, but it's important to keep this in mind as well. When we look at the back of the LG Wing, there is a 64 megapixel unit with optical image stabilization behind an f1.8 lens. Next to it, a regular ultra-wide lens for photography and a gimbal mode ultra-wide to use with LG's new video features. The ultra-wide lens also holds up very well next to the competition with minimal distortion around the edges of the frame and competent indoor and low-light performance. So the main camera can compete with some of the best Android smartphones on the market. Let's not forget that the LG Wing also has a 32 megapixel pop-up selfie camera, something that you might have seen already on other devices. When we look at the battery of the LG Wing, it has a 4000 mAh capacity, supporting quick charge 4 Plus and QI wireless charging. So Wing owners get a decent amount of juice and plenty of charging options for $1000. I've tested the battery life in general use, but I'm not really impressed by the battery life. I believe this is due to the secondary screen, which requires a bit more power. Another downside is the fact that the LG Wing has a 60Hz screen which is a bit hard to believe for a phone of $1000 in 2020. Other Android devices can offer 90 or even 120Hz for less money. I just felt that the overall experience while using the phone didn't feel as good as using a high-end smartphone. Whatever those swingable phones can offer in terms of fun features, performance will still be an important point for customers in this price range. So what do I think about the LG Wing? It's a really cool and fun device and you should really check it out. I also like the fact that LG is never shy to come out with new ideas. The LG Wing is a unique phone with endless possibilities to check out, thanks to the swiveling feature. But in my opinion, the LG Wing is not yet an end product. Once you have it for a few weeks, you'll maybe get a bit bored with the swing and the poor performances might want you to return the phone. A faster refresh rate and an overall performance upgrade are a must to launch this phone successfully on the market. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if it was please leave a like, make sure to let me know in the comments what you guys think about the LG Wing and don't forget to subscribe if you like anything about smartphones and other tech related stuff. I see you in another video.